What's going on, YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be, and welcome back to the pre-register for the month of October. Let's go ahead and take it from the top, starting off with League of Legends Wild Rift. Um, we just talked about this recently over in the Mobile Gaming Recap. Um, this game is going to be delayed all the way until spring of 2021, so, you know, like me, I'm not the type of person that really jumps on a hype train, especially when a game is this far out, so... I'll play it when it's here, but League of Legends Wild Rift is still going to be lingering here in their pre-registration for almost every episode. Um, the next game up is Shining Beyond. Now, believe it or not, you might be confused on this one. Shining Beyond right now is currently in an open beta, no wipe open beta, um, only for Android. So the real launch is on the way. Um, iOS players will finally be able to jump on in. Oh my God. And uh, see what all the hype is all about. Um, I haven't played the game in a while, but I will definitely be coming back once the game is in full global launch i want to see all the changes all the tweaks all the quality of life all the streamlining everything they've done throughout beta based on feedback which they've been very good on cannot wait to see it once it's in a full a global launch so shining beyond on the way um i saw this game just come out today called immortal reborn it didn't have any character graphics so i was out <laughs> I, i'm done with that um shelter war we've seen multiple times you know a bootleg fallout shelter game speaking of fallout shelter still have not seen fallout shelter online hit global or us or anything like that i'm not sure if they're ever going to release it here but um that is that um, we just covered a closed beta of dragon quest tech now normally i don't actually cover a lot of betas in the past historically i haven't but i have been doing it a little bit more lately I i'm kind of happy that i've been doing that because i've actually i've played this game right right? Because I played it in beta. I know what I'm talking about a little bit. Um, so Dragon Quest Tact, grid-based strategy RPG, very streamlined. I, I hate to use the word basic, but accessible like it's it's not like alchemist code or war of the visions or anything like that it's a very like straightforward accessible grid-based strategy rpg lots of streamlining lots of quality of life it's built with mobile in mind very easy game to play i'll definitely probably pick it up once the game actually fully releases right now your progress will be wiped um just to kind of see what else is in the game i hope they do have some some human characters though i hope it's not all monsters but maybe i'll have a different appreciation for that uh, because i think dragon quest 11 is coming to xbox game pass so i'll finally be able to get a chance to play the game in its entirety it's been a long time since i played a dragon quest game that is a long tangent for no reason evo pop all right next um astra craft yo i don't even know but i am down i don't even know but i'm down this looks like i don't know what it looks like <laughs> i don't know what's going on um Okay, all I know, here's, here's things I do know. Brought to you by Netties, the people that are working on Diablo Immortal, who also have, as of late, been putting out some pretty decent titles. So we know about Diablo Immortal coming up. Life After is a really good game. Eve Echoes, don't let that uh, that score fool you. A lot of people are really enjoying Eve Echoes. Um, another game they just recently came out with, which was Identity 5, which is a really decent game. This game is out? Ah, come on. <laughs> I want to play Tom and Jerry. <laughs> um, Netty Super War is a game that has a lot of um accolades right now dawn of isles uh what else was the other game that they i thought they made that other game uh murderous pursuit i thought they made that game but maybe maybe that was somebody else i completely forgot i feel like i feel like searching right now but i don't want to ruin the video um but i like this build stuff and destroy other people's things that they built you love to see it um guitar girl relaxing mini get music game all right gonna keep it moving look at this look at this you looking at the screen Terra Endless War. Wow. Well, my, how the mighty have fallen, my friends. When I first played Terra, the MMO, I actually bought the game for $60 and paid a monthly fee of $15 a month for the privilege to play Terra. And now look at it. Now look at Terra. Now look at this. Oh my God. Um, so obviously Terra is not making the money that it probably used to years ago. Um, so they're shopping out the name to hope that maybe people give it a try. The crazy thing is the coolest part about Terra is not the lollies. I mean, lollies are usually not the coolest thing about any game, but they actually have some really awesome, like, um, I forgot what they're called. Castan, Castanic, 
cast I, I forgot where to call it I, I didn't think i was gonna be put on the spot but there's some really cool uh, another race in this game that is way cooler than the lollies here i wonder why they didn't try to drive that race home instead of these generic little lolly girls like these are so dime a dozen you can see them in a billion games when terra actually has some ip they actually have um some designs in their game that are unique that make the game stand apart why go for the generic i'll never know um, Forsaken World, Gods and Demons, this is another mobile MMO, auto path, auto quest, auto grind, auto combat, mobile MMO. Um, I played a little bit of it already. The only thing I will say is that I thought the class variety was a little unique. Um, these games tend to fall into the trap of just having warrior, rogue, wizard, priest, that type of thing. Now, this game still kind of has that, but they have some cool, um, like, nuances to it. Like, look at this girl with this big, massive uh, chain gun. Um, there's also a vampire class. Like, the class is called Vampire, and they walk around with a coffin and fight with that. Um, other than that, though, it's still pretty much your normal mobile MMO. Nothing too crazy here. Brought to you by GT Arcade, you see here. Um, Yozu, who made... Um, is this the is this the good Knights of the Zodiac? Is this the good Saint Seiya game? That's the good Saint Seiya game. So they have made a good title there. Um, hmm. You know, hit or miss on this one. Hit or miss. Um, this company, you, you never really know. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, yeah, this is gonna be a game only for sightseers and nothing much else. Um, Hello Pet House. All right, keep it moving. Um, Goddess of Genesis, once again, FG playing betas. I know what this game is, Goddess of Genesis. Um, this is a brand new action, not an action game, I'm sorry. Apparently, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is a brand new turn-based RPG hero collector brought to you by the same exact team that brought you Landgrisser. That is my only reservation for this game. I was having a fantastic time when I was playing it. I think the graphics are nice, bright, and colorful. Cool character designs. Um, the gameplay flow, the combat felt good. The team-up attacks I thought were very cool. Um, the only, like I said, the only caveat is brought to you by the Landgrisser guys. I'm not sure on what the the daily, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The daily commitment of time that you're going to have to dedicate to this game. I'm not sure if it's going to be closer to like Illusion Connect, like new uh, Exos Heroes games like, like that Genshin Impact late game. I'm not sure if it's going to be on that side or if it's going to be like old school Landgrisser where literally that was your entire job. You couldn't go to work. You had to play Landgrisser. Um, so we'll definitely see. Um, but I love the variety. Look at this chain gun here. That's the second chain gun we've seen in this video made here. Look at that. And the wheelchair. Look at that. That is pretty awesome. Lots of variety. Can't wait to see what this game amounts to here. So very nice. Goddess of Genesis S. Um, not to be confused with Goddess of Genesis, which is out in SEA. I don't know what the S stands for. That's different. But there you go. Um, we looked at Bullet Knight before. It looks pretty basic and kind of... Uh, doesn't look like it's too interesting. I don't know. I've seen games like this before where you just kind of go from stage to stage to stage fighting creatures. It's almost like this new wave of endless runner style game. Uh, I might take a look at it, but no guarantee I'm going to cover that one. Um, room flip. Okay, keep it moving. Um, <laughs> what is this? There's a pig. Uh, there's no UI on the screen. There's a monkey. Hmm, I have no idea. Um, an action fighting casual offline experience. All right, keep it moving. Uh, bouncy Bird. So you've heard of Flappy Bird. Now we got Bouncy Bird, Bouncy Pig, Bouncy Unicorn, Pegasus. Wait, it's both. Um, bouncy Blue Jay, Bouncy Eagle. All right. Um, a Dragonscapes. So we already talked about this game before. Um, we're going to keep it moving here. Heroes War Counterattack. I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Looks like some very solid artwork at the very least. Um, but you know, my, my, my expectations continue to rise, right? That's the cool thing about mobile is that it evolves so fast as, as much trash as people want to throw at the mobile genre and these hero collectors and these RPGs I, that we play, they, they evolve quite quickly. When a trend catches on in hero collectors, it spreads really fast and it makes it so that you can't even play games that don't have it anymore, right? Like I remember when times two speed used to be something that was unique. Like, no game, not a lot of games had times two speed back in the day. Now, that's just a thing that happens, right? All games have times two, times three, times four speed. Now we're starting to see more idle functionality. Now we're starting to see more um, quality of life when it comes to not just grinding all day, 
you know you're getting sweep tickets you're getting all kinds of things that continue to move the genre forward to make all of these games better um so i say all that to say this in the context of this game i hope that this game comes out and realizes what the competition is doing don't come out they'll be trying to bring some old school Aloon overhit type of stuff you better bring it hero wars so that is that moving on down here to gate of mobus this uh, multiplayer game up to four players, little action RPG style. She looks like a character out of Illusion Connect that we just got a free costume for. This looks like a real single player experience. Is that what that is? Role playing brought to you by Goblin Gamer. Who, hey, I'm, I'm in the studio. What up? <laughs> Project War Mobile. That doesn't look too good. Um, okay. That looks like a real single player experience. Role playing multiplayer or a new strategic um real-time 3d action shooting game oh i was completely off <laughs> it's a shooter <laughs> all right well that actually gives my attention a little bit um like a shooter huh with fantasy characters okay well guess what gate of mobius is on my list very very nice crash bandicoot still on the pre-register i guess we'll see it eventually um shadow fight arena um they've made quite a few of these games i think over the course of this company, Neki, they've made a few of these, haven't they? So they have Shadow Fight 3. I think they historically, no, they, they keep them on the Play Store. So Shadow Fight 2, I thought they would take them off the Play Store when a new one came out, um, but I guess these are two very different. This is like more Shadow. This one actually went for real 3D character models. And now we have Shadow Fight Arena, real time, mobile fighting game. Looks really good. You got bootleg Jet Li here. Very, very nice. You love to see it. Kung Lao over here fighting very very cool um i would say that the character models from a technical standpoint from a polygon standpoint um they look really good um i would i would say though aesthetically they look very very boring <laughs> like they don't look very interesting at all but i guess they're trying to go for a realism thing so there you go shadow fight arena looks good um diablo mortal what else can we say about the game that feels like it's never coming out um definitely i, I I feel like once this game finally hits, it's going to be one of the best experiences ever. I feel like had the game been announced at that BlizzCon and actually got like a standing ovation, the game would have been out already and I think it would have been terrible. Um, since the game was widely panned, I think now the game is going to be better than ever. I think Blizzard realizes that they have to make this game like a real legit Diablo experience. So I think it's only gonna be for the better. All the delays, it feels like forever, it's been forever, but I think it's gonna be for the best. Um, I don't I don't really uh, agree with the people that say the hype is gone and nobody cares anymore. When the game comes out, people are gonna care, right? You can't keep the hype alive forever, obviously. People are gonna kind of lose the hype um, the longer it goes. But once the game is like, hey guys, we're, re we're releasing in, in two months, the hype is gonna come back. Hype doesn't hype doesn't leave from good games. I said the same exact thing earlier today about Cyberpunk. We're on a tangent again. Cyberpunk got delayed. People are like, well, they lost it. No, they didn't. It'll be fine. People are gonna be just as hyped in December to play Cyberpunk. I digress. Sheep Farm, <laughs> uh, Millionaire Tycoon. Are you Savvy Soda? Do you make Coin Master, Savvy Soda? Why are you using a little Coin Master looking pig there with a coin? Okay, um, definitely not a game I'd be looking to. Look at these models, yo. Ugh, those, the uncanny valley is real. Um, 8-3 still alive. This game, who, who's making this game again? Netmarble, Netmarble, Netmarble. Okay, so that make that makes sense. Cause I was like, why? Cause when it when it comes to these games, right? Companies can spend money. I don't know how much money it is, but I assume it's a lot to basically send out a notification to everybody um, that has the Google Play Store that's into games, something like that, um, to let them know that a game is on the way. Um, very rarely do you see companies use that because, like I say, I, I expect it's pretty expensive. Um, but just a couple of days ago, I got a notification letting me know I should go and pre-register for A3. And I'm like, holy crap, Netmarble, you're putting a lot of clout behind this game. Uh, looks like another sightseeing tour. I'm just gonna go in, maybe get max level, and then uninstall the game. It doesn't look like it's gonna be anything too special at all, but A3, still alive. So we have V4 and A3, right? The games are like, you know what? We don't even have time to, to name these things. We don't have time to cr come up with creative titles. All right, A3, V4, keep moving. <laughs> Underworld Office. Okay, um, Mega Heroes. So I actually played this game a couple of days ago. Uh, not really a game for me. I don't know if I'm even gonna cover it on the channel. It was very, 
it, it, it plays like this. It, it plays like this. Um, but the only thing I will say on the positive is look at this. All game companies should do this. Be the Mega Hero on 11.5, November the 5th. We know exactly when the game is coming out. Boom. Thank you, Mega Heroes. I appreciate that. All games should do that on the pre-register. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Super Action Hero Stick Fight. Wow, this is like old school stick fight stuff. That is like super old school. And aren't these? No, no, no. I don't. All right. I'm probably not going to cover a game like that, but Stick Fight. That is super old school. Uh, Empires Mobile. Looks like yet another little Empire Builder, City Builder style game. Nobody really cares about that too much. And then we have Dynasty Legend Final Warrior. Uh, I see a little grid here. I see some grid action. These games usually don't do too well. And that's really a shame because Dynasty Warriors, these characters, how they're reimagined with all like the, you know, the extra fantasy flair to them. You know, the Guan Yu's of the world, the, the, the Lu Bu, all that stuff is very, very cool. I think they really deserve a good game, but usually the people that use that license are just using it to just throw out some, some shovelware, um, if you will. So that is gonna be it. So to end the video off, we have something that did not hit the pre-register as far as this screen right here, but it was on pre-registration and now it's on early install. Um, so you can install this game right now. It's called, Meh, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, brought to you by K-Lab Games. Modmon, okay. Magatsu Waharite. Magatsu Waharite. Um, brand new game that's going to be launching tomorrow. Let me double check. I think, yeah, maintenance is in progress. There are going to be thousands of people downloading this game right now, logging in, seeing this screen, and promptly going to the Play Store to leave a one-star review. This game is trash. Don't even work. It's in maintenance. How dare you release a game in the maintenance? <laughs> so be prepared for the one star reviews uh, but characters look pretty cool shout out to our girl Yasmin here very nice Sadie Percy um, I hear it's a weapon and armor gotcha so keep that in mind it's not really a hero collector but that's also you know a negative and a positive for some people um, some people do like the, the ability to just have access to all of the characters that they want to use um, and they don't mind gotching for like weapons because they find those will be a little less important um, this gives me like it gives me like throwbacks to like Crisis Core. Like this looks like a Vita game. It looks better in combat. I saw some pretty nice video of some boss fights, but a lot of the game does look like a PlayStation Vita game. For sure, for sure. But hey, this is coming out tomorrow. I'll cover it tomorrow. If the game is good enough, we'll also stream it and talk about it. Um, so I will see you tomorrow. My name is FG3000. I thank you a ton for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.